Hi, my name is Jonathan Smith from Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Today we're looking at a 1996 Hunter 336 sailboat in nice shape. One of the special features about this boat is it has a brand new rig, all the shrouds, the mast, the boom. They're all new. Uh, the old one was replaced when it was stored indoors and the roof fell in on it. And so insurance bought a whole new rig for this boat. So that uh, that's a bonus for you. All right, hey, let's go take a look around. All right, we'll start by taking a look around the outside. That's the port side of the boat. It, this is the first year it was ever stored in the water. Every other year it's been uh, stored outdoors under shrink wrap. Although I actually don't have a problem with keeping them in the water around here. We don't ice up. Here's our starboard side. I don't see any dings. You can use a little bit of a cleaning, a little waxing, but that's normal for this time of year. You can see a uh, Dodger. Nice looking boat. Uh, we'll look at the cockpit later, but it's giant for a 33-foot sailboat. It's really quite large. You got teak stern rail seats, swim platform with a ladder, some lockers back there. We'll look around the cockpit. There are a couple cockpit cushions. It is a really large cockpit for a 33-foot boat. Sort of a rounded cockpit. The back wrists are angled back for comfort. Little table console in the middle with wings that flip up for dining outside. Your traveler's right in front of the helm, but not in the way either. This seat does open up, flips down or drops down, and then uh, you got access to your swim platform in the back with a swim ladder. We have stern rail seats that are teak. And the Dodger, that's in decent shape. I don't see any rips or tears. And I walked the decks and I didn't see any cracking, any crazing. The decks look really good. There's no windlass up forward, but there are two anchors on the double anchor roller. And the uh, cool thing about this boat is the mast and boom and all the rigging is all brand new or nearly new. Uh, the old one got damaged when it was stored indoors for the winter. Roof came down on it and damaged it. So he got all new rigging on this boat. That's a bonus for you right there. No insurance worries, no safety concerns. All right, let's take a look down below on the Hunter 336. It's really a quite large space for a 33-foot boat. The uh, fabrics are all original and they appear to be in really nice shape. I don't see any rips or tears. Let's see, they look good. The table is pretty neat. You have uh, a wing that flips up so you can dine from both sides. The table finish, eh, it's a little rough. It could use the sanding and uh, maybe some fresh poly or varnish. But I mean, it's serviceable the way it is. Take a look at the galley. Got a two sink, uh, double sink base in here. Little trash can built in. Uh, there's an ice box, not refrigeration on this boat, but it is really large. Microwave, two burner propane stove with an oven. And you got some storage underneath and behind here for stuff. A place for dishes and glasses up top. On the starboard side, there is a nav station, some more storage, and your electric panels for AC power, including battery charger, water heater outlets, and then all your DC power stuff. Here's your propane uh, solenoid to turn on your propane, uh, the gas for the stove, tank indicators, stereo. Really a good size head on this boat for a 33 foot boat. I would call it like a double size head. You've got a sink vanity on one side and the other side is uh, sort of the shower room. And you can see there's a hand shower thing there. A seat that's over the toilet, draining the floor. If we walk forward, 
Uh, the Hunter does some pretty cool things. So they've got the bulkhead and they got this opening louver door. So if you open it up, open up both the doors, it uh, lets the air flow right through, gives it a sense of being a larger space as well. And then here's our forward stateroom. Uh, there's a fill cushion there and a little board that pops right in there, turns this into a larger bed. And you have a couple lockers in here as well. Storage locker here, little cedar lining. And then one on the other side as well. And we'll take a look at the aft stateroom. A couple lockers there. And a good size bed. You usually sleep athwart ships with your feet towards the center line of the boat. And then your head out here and they give you reading lights as well. And then there's actually an opening hatch back here to get you some fresh air in the aft stateroom. Really a nice layout for a 33 foot boat. Quite a bit larger than you'd expect and worth taking a look, especially if you've got, you know, a limit to your dock slip and you're looking for the most sailboat you can get, you know, under 35 feet. This is a good one. Another thing about the table is you use that line there in a pulley system and it drops down and that will become an additional berth by utilizing these cushions. So drop the table down, put the cushions on, and you actually have a quite large berth um, in the salon. So that means we've got sleeping for two up forward, two aft, two there, and then you could even put somebody on uh, that seat uh, so for a single berth. So a total of about seven if you had to. And uh, by the way, there is a locker in here as well little storage place for books or whatever you want, dishes, whatever you need to put in there. Engine is a Yanmar diesel and it's accessed underneath the companionway stairs. It's a 3GM 30F, 30 horsepower. Appears to be in decent condition. These things just keep on going. It is a uh, what we call a freshwater cooled engine, so it does have a heat exchanger and antifreeze, so most of the engine does not see any salt water. There's also access panels uh, on the side. Here's one in the head that gets you over to where the uh, oil filters and dipstick usually are on these. Up above, there's a storage bin. I see a Yanmar toolkit, some winch handles, things like that. A quick look into the bilge. Hunter uh, does a really cool thing with the bilges. They're very deep which gives you an added level of security if you ever did take on water. There's our bilge pump. It's a good oversized bilge pump there. And uh, here's the hose and pickup for the uh, manual pump. It's up high right now, but when you're uh, in use, you drop that down into the... Once again, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can reach me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. I'd be happy to show you this 1996 Hunter 336, get you on board, and talk you through the buying process. All right, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.